Jupiter signifies knowledge and happiness. Everyone have knowledge. Knowledge and intelligence are two different things, right? You know about how many subjects, the level of experience that you have is knowledge. Intelligence is once you are presented with information, how you are able to process it. So Mercury is information, but Jupiter is knowledge. Knowledge that comes from experience, knowledge that comes from self-realization. So one will have knowledge in which areas that should be... Knowledge in which areas one will have should be seen with respect to Jupiter. But the important point is that how much knowledge one will have that is to be decided by the strength of Jupiter. Because regarding knowledge, I believe that humans, because we have mind, one can have knowledge regarding anything. So naturally one will have knowledge related to which areas one will have interest in pursuing which type of knowledge that you should see with influences over Jupiter. But because humans are intellectuals and they can learn everything, one can learn anything. Right. When generally people come to me asking that, sir, can we learn astrology? I always say that like, you know, you go to school and you, you never, you don't consult an astrologer. Will I be able to le learn mathematics or anything like that? Right. So anything you want to learn, you can learn it. Right. Practice. Will you be able to practice astrology or not? That is another. <clears throat> so leaving this particular thing aside, coming to the topic. Jupiter talks about knowledge, what one will naturally like to know about that should be seen with respect to planet influencing Jupiter as per the Rashi Rashi Lord of Jupiter, Navamsha of Jupiter and all of that. But the strength of Jupiter does indicate how much intelligent one will be. Now, as I told you that knowledge also, knowledge comes from experience. It does indicate that when Jupiter is powerful, you take lessons from everything that you do. And those lessons you remember and, you know, through those lessons, you make your decisions next time more informative. You actually do change in the way you do things based on the knowledge from past experiences. This comes when Jupiter is powerful, right? Apart from that, generally people believe that happiness comes from Venus, which is not true. Actually, happiness comes from Jupiter. And as Jupiter is powerful, the more powerful Jupiter is, the more happy one will be in their life. That is the first thing. Secondarily, regarding happiness, one more thing is there. Whatever things will give you happiness that should be analyzed from the planets influencing Jupiter, the Rashi Lord of Jupiter, etc. Right. Jupiter is powerful. You generally lead a happy life. If Jupiter is not powerful, you don't leave. A, you don't live a happy life. Right. So because Jupiter indicates happiness, also contentment, self-satisfaction, these things are also indicated by Jupiter. As Jupiter is powerful, these things are there. On the other hand, I have seen that if Jupiter is afflicted in the horoscope, then no matter how many, you know, things of happiness or luxury one will have, one will not feel satisfied into it and their yearning for more and more is what leads them into dissatisfaction, discontent, ultimately making them frustrated. Right. So for this particular reason to have happiness and, you know, for the person to be able to enjoy the happiness to the fullest, you need an affliction for Jupiter. Apart from that, what essence of knowledge is also indicated by Jupiter? Now, what is essence of knowledge? Essence of knowledge is that you realize things and change your behavior accordingly. As I told you, that is also indicated by Jupiter. Apart from that, Jupiter is a minister does indicate that when Jupiter is powerful, one rises up to the ministerial level. If Jupiter is connected to wealth houses, one earns well by being a minister. In this particular scenario, one is not a king, but a minister. Not a ruler, but second to the ruler. And when Jupiter is connected to profession houses, it does indicate that one can go very high in their profession up to the top level, right? Jupiter is the teacher of gods, right? So owing to this particular reason, when Jupiter becomes powerful, it gives good qualities to the native. The godly qualities of enjoyment, godly qualities of happiness, positivity, faith, trust, these things are in the nature behavior character of the native when Jupiter is powerful, right? That is to be understood. Now, apart from that, 
Jupiter is white, yellowish white in color. So when Jupiter indicates complexion by being connected to ascendant, your complexion, seventh house, the complexion of spouse, fifth house, complexion of your children. Jupiter generally indicate white complexion or yellowish complexion. Generally, yellowish is white only. So white complexion, it does indicate. But if you want to donate things for Jupiter, you want to consume things for Jupiter, you have to make sure that these things are yellow in color. So in complexion, Jupiter indicates white complexion in colors of donation, right? Like if you want to donate clothes, then the color of the clothes. If you want to donate edibles, then color of the edibles. If you want to donate sweets, then color of the sweets should be yellow for Jupiter. Jupiter is ruled by Indra. Now, because Jupiter is ruled by Indra, one should worship God Indra to make Jupiter powerful. Right Nowadays, Lord Indra is not worshipped as prominently as it was worshipped in Rigveda as such. So I believe that Narayan should be worshipped. Right In today's world, Narayan and Vishnu have taken the place of Indra. So Lord Narayan should be worshipped for Jupiter. Also, the Satnarayan form of Lord Vishnu should specifically be worshipped. Right, Because Lord Satnarayan is also connected with yellow color and Jupiter does indicate yellow color. So owing to this particular reason. Apart from that, Brahman, the Supreme Godhead, the soul that we say is also indicated by Jupiter. So doing things to you know, explore and understand your soul, such as meditation and all of these things. If you do that, that will also be a very good remedy for Jupiter. That will be strengthening the Jupiter. Right. Brahma Vidya, the pursuit of knowing your own self by uh, pursuing spirituality is also indicated by Jupiter. So for a person to be spiritually successful, Jupiter have to be powerful. If Jupiter is influencing the ascendant, one will generally have a flair for spirituality, right? And one will give importance to spirituality and spiritual aspects in uh, maximum things that they do. Regarding directions, Jupiter indicates northeast direction. So if Jupiter is powerful and positive in your horoscope, you should do things while facing a uh, northeast direction that will be beneficial for you. If you keep the northeast side of your home clean, that will strengthen your Jupiter. According to Vastu, in the northeast direction, there should be open space and there should be no heavy weight as such. So if you follow these Vastu guidelines, it will also help you strengthen your Jupiter. If Jupiter is indicating your spouse, then it is very probable that you will meet your spouse in northeast direction. Apart from that, if Jupiter is connected to wealth houses, then traveling to northeast direction, having your office in the northeast direction, etc., will be financially and professionally beneficial for you, depending on whether Jupiter is connected to professional houses or finance related houses, right? In benefits, Jupiter is Jupiter is a benefit planet. So have so whoever planet that is connected to Jupiter by the aspect of Jupiter or association with Jupiter goes under association with a benefic planet because of which one gets happiness because Jupiter indicates happiness. One gets happiness in things signified by the planet, both by their natural significations and based on the houses that they own. And the planet and the house which is under the influence of Jupiter becomes powerful, first of all. And secondarily, one enjoy good results related to the signification of houses and planets who are influenced by Jupiter. Why? Because Jupiter is a beneficial planet. In fact, Jupiter is the most benefic planet as such. Jupiter is one of the most benefic planet. In gender, Jupiter generally indicate male gender. So in a male horoscope, if Jupiter is powerful, only then one will be able to develop good male qualities. Otherwise not, that is first thing. Regarding gender of, gender of siblings and children, if Jupiter is influencing third house or fifth house respectively. One should decide that there will be more male siblings or male children. That's one thing. Another point, as I told you, if it is a female horoscope, you want the lady to get married to a male. In this particular scenario, when Jupiter is influencing the seventh house, it will make sure that the husband of the lady is a strong male. That means person knows how to take responsibility, protects his spouse, protects his family and all of that. On the other hand, if in a male horoscope, Jupiter is influencing the seventh house, it will 
give strong combinations for person at one point of time in life if not uh, if bad other bad conditions are not there then at one point of life it can also indicate person being you know like because the person is male and the life partner he is wanting a female so for some time in life it will indicate that person will have to remain bachelor despite the fact that the person may want to go into a relationship if other combinations for uh, going into same gender relationship is there then generally jupiter influencing the 7th house in a male horoscope can also indicate person going into same gender relationship apart from that if only jupiter or male planets are influencing the 7th house in a male horoscope without much other afflictions it will also indicate that the wife can be manly right so can have coarse skin coarse voice can have a uh, you know prominent ruling tendency and all of these things right so the gender of the planet should be uh, used accordingly the basic use is that as per the gender of the planet the gender of child sibling etc should be predicted and according to my research the gender should be used in all the areas in a male horoscope if the seventh house is only influenced by male planets it will indicate that wife is male like so she will have more hairs more facial hair bodily hair etc skin will not be soft voice will not be sweet right her nature behavior will be more manly as compared to you know being with what is being like what is more associated with women right so this is my research part that i am telling you right so in this way also the gender should be used using it this way i have found it gives more prominent results as compared to what can be otherwise predicted because otherwise you can only predict the gender of children and siblings right little uses of such a great uh, technique right so this other uses right now jupiter indicates either element now either element is an element which is present in every other element it is called akash tattva you can say it is void and emptiness it is almost everywhere right akash tattva is ever present akash tattva have a balance of all other four tattvas right so owing to this particular reason jupiter when powerful does indicate that person is a very balanced personality for a person to be a balanced personality jupiter have to be powerful if jupiter is not then the person may not have a balanced tendency and in that particular scenario person can be partial also so to remain impartial jupiter have to be powerful and one more thing is there jupiter is told to be having golden hairs now people generally believe that judge is saturn that he is not whoever believes judge is saturn have not given much consultation to judges it seems like jupiter having golden hair and in uh, you know jupiter having golden hair does indicate judges right and judge should also be impartial so when jupiter is powerful it can make one judge also and when jupiter is good this will make a person a very good judge a very impartial judge that will be very good one more thing is there i told you jupiter indicates yellow hair brownish hair what you call blond hair and generally blond hair is possessed by foreigners so despite the common notion that people believe that rahu gives a foreigner spouse once again i don't think they have seen much horoscopes of people married to foreigners but generally when jupiter is very strongly connected to seven house then the person is either married to a foreigner or the spouse of the native looks like feels like that they are foreigner or the spouse will have a lot of foreign influences in their nature maybe it can indicate a spouse who have spent their maximum times in foreign lands etc right so such permutations and combination should be taken and prediction should be given accordingly in the caste jupiter indicates brahmin caste right so when jupiter is afflicted in transit it does indicate problems can happen to brahmins on a mundane level apart from that when jupiter is powerful in horoscope it indicates that one will have brahmanical tendencies one will have brahmanical nature that means one is in the pursuit of knowledge one is intellectual first of all and secondarily the profession of the native is more related to reading writing teaching consulting guiding because these are the brahmanical tendencies apart from that because jupiter indicates brahmins also if one donates to brahmins donates to temples take care take care of brahmins they also strengthen their jupiter make their jupiter positive and powerful right so this is another thing in caste 
सॉरी इन क्वालिटी जुपिटर जनरली इंडिकेट सत्वा सो सत्व सात्विक क्वालिटी इज डूइंग गुड टू पीपल डूइंग गुड विदाउट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनीथिंग इन रिटर्न फॉलोइंग यूर धर्मा राइट रिस्पेक्टिंग एल्डर्स बींग डेवोटेड टू गॉड्स एंड ब्राह्मीस दीज आर द सात्विक क्वालिटीज विच विल बी प्रेजेंट इन द नेचर बिहेवियर कैरेक्टर ऑफ द नेटिव वेन द जुपिटर इज पावरफुल एंड विल बी एबसेंट फ्रॉम द नेचर बिहेवियर कैरेक्टर ऑफ द नेटिव वेन जुपिटर इज नॉट पावरफुल राइट दैट्स द बेसिक थिंग Apart from that, when Satwa is powerful, it generally indicates that person is tension-free, person is self-contented, person is attractive, person is liked by many, and many people want to become like the person because Satwa is blessed by Narayan. So when Jupiter is powerful, it will give Satvic quality to the horoscope, and one will have all the Satvic qualities that I have mentioned. But regarding the Satwa, Rajas, and Tamas, I have found that. because the rashis are naturally not divided into satwa rajas and tamas the maximum uses of satwa rajas and tamas is in categorizing that if jupiter is satvik the rashis of jupiter pisces sagittarius are also satvik and any planet which are situated in the satvik rashis the satvik nature of that planet comes forward so you say if sun is situated in the rashis of jupiter then this sun is a satvik jupiter now this person will not have ego generally because sun indicates respect self respect which can turn into ego also but because the sun is going into the rashi of jupiter who is satvik it generally indicates that person will not have ego but he will have self respect you can say this is more self respect or less self respect but it will be self respect only not ego if venus is going into the rashi of jupiter then because venus is satwa it will indicate that person is more motivated by the notion of satwa in relationships then to the notion of rajas and tamas now relationship is something where one should be rajasic not satvik so owing to this particular reason life partner may find this person boring may find uh, you know this person disinterested and all of that but the good satvik qualities of non attach non attachment contented in uh, you know contented in even small amounts and other such things will be present in the nature behavior character of the native which will make sure that the native generally until and unless the venus is highly afflicted indicates that generally the person will not cheat and will be dedicated and devoted to their life partner so the basic point is jupiter being a satvic planet more than saying that see this is the basic part that jupiter is a satvic planet and when jupiter is powerful the native will also be satvic this is a general principle my research principle is that because jupiter is satvik the rashis of jupiter should also be taken as satvik and as different planets goes to the rashi of jupiter those planets have also became satvik and the person will have satvik tendencies while dealing with things indicated by that planet is what should be predicted right that is the research part now as per the planet connected to the ascendant the lord of navamsh lagna the lord of moon sign in uh, the, the lord of yeah the dispositor of moon in d9 or the most powerful planet situated in kendra one should predict about the looks etc of the native right as per the most powerful planet connected to the seventh house one should describe the astrologer should describe the look of the spouse as per the most powerful planet connected with the fifth house one should describe the looks of the children and so on and so forth so what type of looks are given by jupiter jupiter gives you a huge body big body big body means generally the person is tall and fat also jupiter gives yellow hair i also told you golden hair right how to interpret this golden hair that i also uh, told before so that interpretation should be taken apart from that blonde hair is also indicated by jupiter so one more thing is there that if you are getting your hair blonde colored you are making your jupiter powerful you are doing a remedy for jupiter that is another thing jupiter is also told to have yellow eyes so not very fair white eyes as such yellow eyes are indicated by jupiter and it also indicates very superior very great intellect apart from that it also indicates phlegmatic nature and because of phlegmatic nature the person can have a lot of cough and person ha will have a tendency for obesity and having a lot of fat in body as well this is something that the person should be careful about learned in vedas and other esoteric sciences is indicated by jupiter one is interested in vedas and learning about such things related to dharma veda and religion is indicated by jupiter jupiter gives 
लायन लाइक अथॉरिटेटिव वॉइस जुपिटर गिव्स अ फर्म नेचर द नेटिव इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट इन सोसाइटी दिस क्वालिटी इज ऑल्सो गिवन बाय जुपिटर ब्रॉड एंड प्रोमिनेंट चेस्ट इज ऑल्सो गिवन बाय जुपिटर वन हु इज फॉन्ड ऑफ वर्च्यूज एंड इज ऑलवेज इंगेज इन बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर वर्च्यूज बाय कंटिन्यूसली इंप्रूविंग एंड मेकिंग देयर बिहेवियर बेटर इज ऑल्सो इंडिकेटेड बाय जुपिटर राइट मोडेस्टी is also given by jupiter one is firm in their statements one stands by whatever they commit is also indicated by jupiter jupiter gives you big eyes as well the native is of forgiving disposition native generally loves to wear yellow apparels native is a eminent person in society will generally have a pot belly the person will have aptitude to learn everything very quickly the person will be very intelligent royal marks such as signs of fish in the hand legs etc will be there so good good bodily features good signs in the hands legs right well proportioned body these things are also given by jupiter but apart from that jupiter makes one very greedy also jupiter will make the native highly focused on wealth acquiring wealth using wealth enjoying wealth all the good qualities of character is generally given by jupiter that will be present in the native who have a prominent jupiter jupiter connected to as and in different houses as i explained apart from that jupiter also indicates hair fall whereas saturn indicates quite early hair fall jupiter indicates timely hair fall so by the age of 45 50 jupiter starts losing hair right so this these physical traits descriptions are indicated by jupiter and that should be predicted as the description of the native or spouse or the child of the native or the mother father or the sibling of the native as per jupiter's connection with the different houses in the horoscope right apart from that in body parts jupiter generally indicates flesh so when jupiter is weak and afflicted in horoscope it does it it will indicate obesity that that is flesh apart from that bad cholesterol and all of all of the issues which comes from a lot of flesh or a lot of muscle such as heart attack etc will is also indicated by jupiter i think this much is not enough from my experience i will add that you know having any type of allergy problem of you know like problem in smell problem in bearing a particular type of smell and stomach related issues are generally given by weak and afflicted jupiter in horoscope also as per my experience so this also should be added into jupiter significations store room and treasury is indicated by jupiter so you should have a store room and treasury in your home if you want to make your jupiter prominent you should keep your store room and treasury clean if you want to make sure that your jupiter remain free of blemishes apart from that if you wanted to do anything for jupiter chanting mantras or donating something doing it in store room or near store room treasury bank will be better for example if you want to donate to beggars for jupiter then you should for sure donate to beggars that you meet around store room treasury or governmental store room right or governmental treasury or near a bank if you meet a beggar and if you donate them something right then it will be a donation for jupiter why because these places are indicated by jupiter and any person you meet around these places is for the time is also influenced by jupiter right so that is how it should be used as we you can wear gemstone for planets you can also wear clothes for planets right so jupiter indicate a cloth which is neither very new nor very old so clothes which are worn for 2 3 times are generally indicated by jupiter so when you are going to do things for jupiter you have to make sure like making donations for jupiter do mantra chanting for jupiter etc you have to make sure that if you wear such dresses also then the remedy will be more effective more impactful apart from that if you often wear such now you cannot often wear such clothes because when you purchase a new cloth it will be a new cloth after constantly wearing it for more than 6 months it will become an old cloth so constantly wearing such clothes are not possible as such but one thing can be done that when you have new clothes for 2 3 times you wear them back to back you wear it wash it again wear it wash it again wear it so 3 times you wear it this way then you keep it in the cupboard keep it in the collection 
and then you wear it like once a month, once a two months. If you generally do it with dresses, for example, you go shopping, you purchase five dresses, right? Those five dresses over one one month, you wear them back to back, right? Wear them, wash them, wear them, wash them. After that, you put it in collection and then offer, keep on wearing it and go on shopping once a year, twice a year only. Then generally it will indicate that maximum time you are wearing clothes, which are signified by Jupiter. It is akin to wearing the color of Jupiter or gemstone of Jupiter, which strengthens the Jupiter. But before strengthening the planet, before strengthening the planet, you will have to make sure that Jupiter is positive for you because if you strengthen a negative planet, then it will be problematic for you. Like clothes, I believe that metals should metals can also be worn for planet. And regarding gemstone, see, it is a long setup, right? Gemstone have to be uh, excavated in a good muhurta. It have to be purified. Then finding the finding pure, unheated, untreated gemstone in affordable price can be difficult many a times. Apart from that, comparing it to metals, metal is easy to find and cheaper. One thing is there. In curing health problems, metals are very good. My distinction is simple. When you want to store the power you have to use gemstones. When you want to channel the power, you have to use metals. This is my own personal distinction from my experience. In metals, Jupiter indicates silver. So if you wear silver, you will be strengthening your Jupiter. That's the first point. Now regarding silver, women should not wear much of silver. So for women, you have to go with clothes and gemstone and other things related to Jupiter. Right? Silver as a metal of Jupiter that you should not wear more. Now, silver anklets, pile, if women wear, it is very good. And there is something that women wear around their navel. Right? That of silver, if you wear, that is okay. Woman in hand, they can wear silver, though I don't recommend wearing a bangle of silver as such. A small ring of silver you can wear, but you should not wear silver with gold. Right? Until and unless it is a pavitri altogether. With gold, silver, you should not wear. So in hand, woman should, in, in fingers as a ring, woman should avoid wearing silver in the same hand where uh, they are also wearing gold. As a bracelet, silver bracelet, I don't recommend for woman. And wearing silver in neck for woman is highly prohibited. So wearing silver for Jupiter is a men exclusive remedy that I generally recommend. To woman, I don't recommend it. I will not say that woman should wear it as such. Women should resort to other resort, uh, other remedies of Jupiter for strengthening Jupiter rather than wearing uh, silver. Right? In the seasons, Jupiter indicate month or cold season, which is between 15th of uh, November to 15th of January. Regarding seasons, I told you that this is my best timing tool. If you wanted to find when one will get married, you check the D3 Rashi of the 7th Lord or Venus. If they are going into the D3 Rashi of Jupiter, that is Sagittarius and Pisces, you should understand that one will get married in Haman season that is between 15th of November to 15th of January. This way it is used for timing of events. You can take the D3 occupied by 5th Lord or Jupiter to time when the childbirth will happen, etc. And this principle is one of my best tools for timing events. And whenever it comes to timing events, I never miss to use it. It gives very miraculous result. You do it. Jupiter aspects 5th, 7th and 9th house with 100% intensity. Other planets also influence the 5th and 9th house with 50% intensity only. Jupiter influences 5th and 9th house with 100% intensity. Right. So Jupiter is having 5th and 9th extra aspect. Which means to say that any planet at 5th, 7th and 9th house from Jupiter is influenced by Jupiter. In Prashna, generally, when Jupiter is indicating something, it also indicates that in one month, the result will come. Right? Regarding taste, Jupiter generally indicates sweet taste. So eating more of sweet will strengthen Jupiter. When Jupiter is connected to second house, one will, when Jupiter is connected to second house, ascendant or Jupiter is the most powerful planet, one will love to be, love to eat sweets, which can give obesity and diabetes to the native as well. So you should be careful. In Prashna related to food, Jupiter connected to second house and fifth house will indicate that either the native have eaten sweet food or will eat sweet food if the question is related to future. Donation of sweets etc. is a very good remedy for Jupiter. Specifically, if women are donating sweet, it is very good for them to make their life sweet also. 
right so for women i specifically recommend donation of sweets will be a very good remedy for jupiter along with wearing yellow if they want jupiter is very friendly to sun regarding mars it is a love hate relationship i don't take jupiter as friendly to mars from my experience so this should not be taken jupiter is also very friendly to moon right apart from that jupiter is tolerably friendly to mercury venus jupiter does not afflict mercury venus but mercury venus afflicts jupiter regarding saturn saturn gives raj yog in the rashi of jupiter but jupiter becomes debilitated in the rashi of saturn so jupiter saturn have a 50 50 relationship though they are not very inimical towards each other as in when jupiter is with saturn and so jupiter does not create problems and obstacles in the significations related to saturn but this combination altogether is not a very good combination and it generally gives mental difficulties a uh, depression and all of these things as such so this is something that have to be considered i consider jupiter very inimical to mars and mars very inimical to jupiter so regarding friendship enmity this is how it should be taken now one thing is there that if jupiter is with friendly planets it means that things signified by jupiter for example jupiter indicates childbirth so when jupiter is with his friends childbirth will be easy on the other hand when jupiter is with his friends childbirth will be difficult so when a planet is with friends influenced by friends getting things related to planet is easy when the planet is influenced by enemies there are obstacles and obstructions in things signified by the planet right so jupiter indicates children regarding children how to use it i told you apart from that jupiter also indicates happiness so when jupiter is influenced by friendly planets one will easily get happiness easily get happiness as in the things which will give happiness to the native can be provided by mother and father naturally to the native so it comes very easily to the native on the other hand when jupiter is influenced by his enemies it does indicate that things which give happiness to the native one will have to struggle for it so after a lot of struggle and hard work one will get things which gives happiness to the native and added to that will be that it does not sustain for long or often problems come because of which you know these sources of happiness disappear or person have uh, you know person find difficulty engaging with those things which give happiness to the native right so this particular way the result should be predicted when jupiter is in the first house jupiter, first house ascendant jupiter is digbali also and if jupiter is digbali regarding digbali if you follow the direction of the digbali planet you become successful so if jupiter becomes digbali jupiter indicates north east then if you are having your uh, office in north east that job is good for you if your house is north east facing that house is good for you if you think while facing north east eat while facing north east etc it is good for you if you find your life if you find your life partner spouse in north east direction you are more probable to meet a life partner which will be lucky and fortunate for you who will naturally have a you know good horoscopic matching good horoscopic matching with you right so following the directions of the planet who is getting directional strength is good following the direction of jupiter does not only mean that you are going into north east because jupiter is brahmin jupiter is satvik right following brahmanical tendencies having more sattva in your nature will also be beneficial for you which will give you happiness enjoyment and other good things of life right now because jupiter is getting directional strength in the first house he will lose directional strength in the seventh house so if jupiter is there in the seventh house then one should try to avoid things related to jupiter now it does not mean that you will avoid goodness or good qualities which comes from sattva and is signified by jupiter but you should avoid uses of yellow color wearing of silver etc if jupiter is losing directional strength right that is the point when jupiter is retrograde when jupiter is with moon then in that scenario jupiter is very powerful it he is cheshtabali and cheshtabali means whatever wishes desires aspirations you are having related to natural significations of jupiter and uh, houses loaded by jupiter that wishes desires and aspirations will be fulfilled right so because jupiter indicates child if one wants to have child birth and jupiter is retrograde or is with moon then one will for sure be able to have it right in many horoscopes when uh, where child birth is not indicated but jupiter was with moon or jupiter was retrograde i predicted people for childbirth and it actually happened 
leaving many people around them surprised all right why i am saying it just to emphasize the power of chesta bal right so this way it should be understood if you are born in day time then also in day time jupiter is powerful so if you are born in day time jupiter is powerful apart from that because jupiter is powerful in day time if jupiter is giving you something then it is very probable that you will get that particular thing whatever jupiter is giving in day time only apart from that if you want to do anything for jupiter worshiping a god visiting temple chanting mantra doing donation if you do it in day time it will be very good right apart from that jupiter indicates rigveda so if one is getting initiated into knowledge related to rigveda brahmanas upanishads related to rigveda or one is you know wanting to acquire knowledge or you know finding a muhurta to start studying the aranyakas etc related to rigveda then you have to make sure that in the muhurta chart jupiter is powerful otherwise if jupiter is not powerful then because jupiter indicates rigveda your pursuit of getting knowledge in rigveda and branches of rigveda will not be successful as such apart from that because jupiter indicates rigveda also if you can have rigveda in your home and uh, try reading it it will make your jupiter powerful as well right because jupiter rules over rigveda all the chanting mantras that come from rigveda if one chants them one will also make their jupiter powerful right so in this way the interpretation of jupiter ruling rigveda should be done now jupiter indicate heavens also if sun or moon stronger between sun and moon is situated in the dreshkan of jupiter that is pisces or sagittarius it does indicate that native came from heaven which means that native was enjoying in heaven this generally indicates that person will be having good qualities in his nature behavior character which is otherwise also known because as jupiter is powerful one will be satvik right so satvik nature behavior character one will be having from the most powerful planet between 6th 7th and 8th house the dreshkan of this planet indicates where the native is going if the most powerful planet between 6th 7th and 8th house is in dreshkan of jupiter that is pisces or sagittarius it is indicating that the native is going to heaven after death now the native is going to heaven after that after death it means that either the native is very spiritual or the native have done a lot of dharmic things such as donation etc that's why he is going to heaven so the native being very spiritual being very generous donating very often helping people these things should be predicted if the most powerful planet between 6th 7th and 8th house is in the dreshkan of jupiter this is how it should be used in any rashi if jupiter is between 0 degree to 10 degree then jupiter should be considered powerful when situated in aries gemini leo libra sagittarius aquarius also jupiter should be considered powerful when moon is of shukl paksh bright fortnight then also jupiter should be considered powerful right between the rashi capricorn aquarius pisces aries taurus gemini also jupiter should be considered powerful now in this case you know that capricorn is a debilitation rashi of jupiter so in capricorn jupiter will not be that much powerful i am telling you multiple sources of strength for jupiter as much strength as jupiter gets the more powerful he will be so it should be decided accordingly it's not like i have told you once that jupiter is powerful in capricorn and you start crying sir jupiter is wow how you said jupiter is strong in capricorn everyone say jupiter is weak in capricorn all the factors that i am telling you that factors you combine right and if from four or more than four factors jupiter comes to be powerful then you consider that jupiter is really very powerful prominent not powerful prominent that prominent in horoscope that's the point right apart from that jupiter is a mid rising it does indicate that whatever result is indicated by jupiter generally that result is felt in middle life so if jupiter is indicating marriage generally one gets married in middle ages now middle ages we generally take between uh you see 35 to 55 but for marriage it will be very late so keeping in mind that minimum age of marriage in india for boys uh, for the girl is 18 and boys 21 and generally anyone married after 35 will be considered a late marriage so in the case of marriage mid age should indicate marrying around 28 will be indicated by jupiter now you take childbirth generally if the child birth is around 27 years of age it will be considered early child birth and late child birth is around 40s 40 45 so in this child birth in middle age will mean child birth between the age of 32 to 
that is indicated by Jupiter. For other things, if Jupiter is indicating finances, wealth, etc., then in Middle Ages that will be thirty after thirty five forties. Right in that Middle Ages, the finances and other things will be there. So the basic point is Jupiter gives result in Middle Ages of life. For everything, it can be taken as literal Middle Age of life, but few things are time bound, such as marriage, childbirth, etc. In that, the Middle Age should be changed accordingly. Right, that is the basic thing I am wanting to say. Right, such suitable modifications should be made. Right to the principles only then more effective and better uses of astrological principles can be done otherwise not apart from that jupiter indicates two footed animals that are humans so jupiter signifies humans that is the particular reason jupiter is taken as jivakarak also because jupiter indicate humans means to say when jupiter is afflicted in transit when jupiter is in problem in transit when the Rashis of Jupiter are being transited by malefics in transit, then because Jupiter indicates Brahmins, Brahmins land into trouble. And because Jupiter indicates humans generally, all the humans land into trouble. Generally, whenever Jupiter is afflicted in transit, you will see terrorist attack and uh, events which causes much loss of lives of fellow humans happen when Jupiter is afflicted in transit. Mundane astrology is such a fantastic branch that anyone who knows about mundane astrology, who observes mundane astrology will be completely convinced that astro astrology uh, controls the destiny and fate of humans. Right? Th that is the particular reason it is told that Jyotish is Pratyakshi Shastra. Right? Because by observing the astrological patterns, one can see in reality, Pratyakshi Shastra is real science. One can see in reality how planets and astrology is controlling human race. Right? Villages are indicated by Jupiter. So you say when Jupiter is connected to fourth house or fourth lord, which indicates home, it will indicate that one will have home around villages, farmhouse it is called nowadays. Apart from that, if Jupiter is indicating the place of meeting of spouse, suppose Jupiter is indicating treasury banks, etc. is also told earlier. Villages are also indicated by Jupiter. So if Jupiter, if the seventh lord is in the Rashi of Jupiter, it indicates that you will generally meet your life partner near bank treasury or around the village in a farmhouse kind of setup, right? Apart from that, anything you want to do for Jupiter, donations, etc. If you do it in the village, periphery of village, around village, banks, treasury, etc. Then it will be very good. Regarding age, Jupiter generally indicates 30 years old person. So if you wanted to do, do donations, etc. related to Jupiter, if you donate it to people who somehow appears to be around 30 years of age, it will make the remedy more effective. Importantly, this is generally used in Prashna. Based on the planet who is influencing the ascendant, the age of the person who is asking the Prashna or age of the person regarding whom the questioner is thinking is predicted. Right. If Jupiter is connected to the ascendant in Prashna, then it does indicate that either the native is in his 30s or the person regarding whom the native is asking the question is in his 30s. This is also used to know that the indications of the Prashna is true. So you predict such things based on Prashna on which the client says that it is true or not. And based on that, you decide that whether I should proceed with the analysis of Prashna further or not. Right. In gemstones, nowadays it is believed that yellow sapphire wearing yellow sapphire is for Jupiter. However, classically, topaz is told to be Jupiter. Basically, and Jupiter indicates yellow color. Wearing any yellow gemstone is strengthens Jupiter, whether it be topaz or yellow sapphire. Right. That strengthens Jupiter. That should be worn for Jupiter. Now, regarding aspect, Jupiter is having even glance frontal aspect. So any person who is signified by Jupiter, one who is having a prominent Jupiter, Jupiter being the Lord of uh, Ascendant, Lord of Moon sign in Navamsh or Lord of Navamsh Ascendant, it does indicate that person have a Samadrishti, person generally looks at front, looks in the eyes of the other person while talking. That is one thing. Apart from that, Front or the middle section is 10 degrees to 20 degrees in any Rashi. So if any planet is 
getting expected by Jupiter. And if that planet happens to be between zero degree to 20 degree in any Rashi, then influence on that planet, influence of Jupiter on that planet is superior as compared to Jupiter's influence on planets, which are not between 10 degree to 20 degree. This is what the even glance mean. Apart from that, Jupiter indicates gentle quality and as powerful and strong the Jupiter is, more gentle the native will be in his nature behavior character. Apart from that, if you want to know about the level of genius of the native, it is known through analysis of Jupiter. The level of wealth of native is known from the analysis of Jupiter. So if the Jupiter is powerful, wealth is powerful, that means person is rich. If Jupiter is influenced by malefics, or enemies, enemies create obstructions, malefics give bad result. So there will be obstructions in earning money or there will be bad loss of money, bad results related to money, loss of money, etc. Physical development is also seen from Jupiter. Generally, people who have bad Jupiter will find difficulties in physical development. Such children's complete physical development can be hindered as well. Right. Regarding children is analyzed from Jupiter. Knowledge is seen from Jupiter. Good qualities of the native is seen from Jupiter. So planet who is influencing Jupiter and the Rashi Lord of the Jupiter generally indicate good qualities which are present in the nature of the native. Position of ministership is seen from Jupiter. Behavior of the person is seen from Jupiter. Jupiter also indicates teaching. Magnanimity is indicated by Jupiter. Knowledge of Vedas, Sastras, Smritis, Puranas, Upanishads, Astrology, etc. is indicated by Jupiter. Being able to predict future is indicated by Jupiter. Prosperity in everything that one does is indicated by Jupiter. Reverence to gods and Brahmins is indicated by Jupiter. Sacrifice penance is indicated by Jupiter. Religious faith is indicated by Jupiter. Treasure house is indicated by Jupiter. Wisdom learning is indicated by Jupiter. Control over senses. Brahmacharya is also indicated by Jupiter. Jupiter is good Brahmacharya. Control over senses is indicated by Jupiter. Happiness from spouse is indicated by Jupiter. Owner and compassion is also indicated by Jupiter. Apart from that, these things Jupiter independently indicates. Second house, fifth house, ninth house, tenth house and eleventh house are also signified by Jupiter. So whenever you are about to analyze the second house, you should also analyze Jupiter because Jupiter also controls the second house as well. So while analyzing these houses, the analysis of Jupiter is also important. In fifth house, Jupiter is considered to be harmful. Now, this is not Karko Bhav Nashai as such. Right? Jupiter in fifth house is harmful as in when Jupiter is situated in the fifth house, he can do harm whenever he is activated by Dasha Antar Dasha. How planet is activated? I told you between November to January, Jupiter is activated. So Jupiter is in fifth house, November to January, months are not good. When Dasha Antar Dasha of Jupiter is running, then Jupiter is powerful. If in the fifth house, Jupiter is harmful, that Dasha Antar Dasha is not good. Apart from that, whenever sun is transiting through Pisces or Sagittarius, Rashi is ruled by Jupiter. Capricorn, debilitation Rashi of Jupiter. Uh, Cancer, exaltation Rashi of Jupiter. Sun, because sun is a time factor and a power factor, it influences or gives power to different Rashis. Now, because Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer and Capricorn are connected to Jupiter, when Sun is transiting through these Rashis. He is indirectly giving power to Jupiter also. Jupiter is activated. Now fifth house is a harmful house of Jupiter. And when Ju and if you are having Jupiter in fifth house, Jupiter is harmful for you. And when Sun is transiting through these houses, he is giving power to Jupiter. Jupiter is harmful for you. So Jupiter will create obstructions, difficulties, health problems to you. This is how it should be understood. And according to me, this has nothing to do with Karko Bhavnasha as such. I don't believe in the concept of Karko Bhavnasha altogether. Right. When I say I don't believe in the concept of Karko Bhavanasha altogether, I mean to say that in my astrological consultations, I have never paid much attention to it. And if you want to pay attention to it, it is all up to you. Right. I am giving my opinions on my channel only. Right. Jupiter is generally ruled by Mars. Means to say if Jupiter and Mars both are influencing a house and a planet and Certainly, Jupiter being a beneficial planet will indicate good result and Mars will indicate a bad result. And you become confused that whose result is more, then you have to keep in mind that Mars, Mars naturally rules Jupiter. So whenever there is a tussle between the influence of Mars and Jupiter, the influence of Mars will be more, the influence of Mars will be ruling. 
That's one thing. Apart from that, when Jupiter is situated in Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, Rashi or Navamsh, or if someone is born in a Thursday or if someone is born in a midday, or when Jupiter is situated in 4th house and 10th house, then Jupiter should be considered powerful. Jupiter situated in 1st, 4th and 10th house also gives much wealth to the native. Right. So this also should be understood and this power factor along with other power factors should be used to decide whether the Jupiter is prominent in the horoscope or not. When Jupiter is in the fifth house, then generally whatever good results are indicated by Jupiter, that good results are also either not felt altogether or is greatly compromised. Right. Along with that, when Jupiter is powerful, when you do remedies related to Jupiter, it does not only strengthen the Jupiter, but it will also save Rahu, Mercury, Saturn, Mars and Venus as well. Right. So as you do remedies for Jupiter, you also purify Rahu, Mercury, Saturn, Mars and Venus in your horoscope as well. You also strengthen these planets as well. And as you do remedies for v Jupiter. Right. So this is another reason why Jupiter remedy is very important. Now, generally when Jupiter is creating problems, right, and afflicted Jupiter is activated as per the Shantra and other principles that I told you, then it generally indicates that one will get cursed by God's parents and other such venerable calm people, which will uh, create difficulties in the life of the native. Nowadays, curse should also be interpreted as that these people will be unhappy, dissatisfied from the native and because of which through their context, they can create difficulties in the life of the native. Diseases of spleen is also indicated by Jupiter and generally when Jupiter is giving bad results, he will also give diseases related to spleen as well. Right. The places around people tree and the places where generally Brahmins are frequently visiting and places around temples are also indicated by Jupiter. So if you want to do donations, etc. related to Jupiter, remedies related to Jupiter done at these places, the remedy becomes more effective. If Jupiter is indicated, if the seventh Lord is going into the Rashi of Jupiter, then you are going to meet your life partner at the places signified by Jupiter. Apart from the places told earlier, these are other places that are indicated by Jupiter. Now, because Jupiter indicates the place around the people tree, sacred fig, Worshipping people tree, giving water to people tree, which is a very Vedic Puranic remedy, quite supported, is a good remedy for Jupiter as well. So you see in God's Jupiter indicates in the end, in the, you cannot directly worship for that. I told you, you should worship Lord Vishnu. And in Bhagavad Gita, I think Krishna have said, Vrikshu am astoto am. Right. In trees, I am people tree. So worshipping people tree. In Indian villages, uh, woman tie gender, woman tie moli around people tree, watering people tree is a good remedy for Jupiter as well. So this should be done for Jupiter. Astrologers, ministers, perceptors, teachers, Brahmins, right? Sannyasis who are chief of an monastic order, important personage, pigeon, horses and swans, these animals and humans are indicated by Jupiter. So as you keep them happy, gift them, liberate them, make them free, you will also be strengthening your Jupiter and making them affliction free. When Jupiter is indicating something that this will happen because of Jupiter, then it is very probable that the thing will happen through the help of these people because Jupiter is not going to come to earth to do the thing for you. These people are signified by Jupiter. So these people will do the things for you, right? Apart from that, it is believed that Jupiter generally indicates elder brothers, right? So 11th house Jupiter is considered to be very good, but many a times it is very problematic. Also 11th house Jupiter, I have seen if the person is the eldest sibling, then it is the best. In other cases, it is not good, right? So Jupiter indicate eldest sibling to uh, know about elder siblings analysis of Jupiter should be done. In a sense, Jupiter generally indicates sound. So when Jupiter is weak and afflicted, it generally makes the person deaf. Because Jupiter rules over sound. Apart from that, when Jupiter is powerful, when Jupiter is strong, it will also indicate that person have a good voice. People want to listen to the person. Owing to this particular reason only, Jupiter makes one orator and a teacher because people should listen to teacher and Jupiter governs the sense of listening, hearing. 
right? That is indicated by Jupiter. Bangalagram is also signified by Jupiter. Eating more of Bangalagram, donating Bangalagram will strengthen and pacify Jupiter respectively. If Jupiter is connected to the ascendant, generally there will be birth mark in right shoulder. Right, because Jupiter indicates right shoulder also problems related to right shoulder and afflicted in weak Jupiter in Dasha Antar Dasha can he can also produce. Fruit bearing trees are indicated by Jupiter. So using the wood of fruit bearing trees to make furniture etc in your home and then using that furniture will strengthen Jupiter. Apart from that planting food bearing trees, taking care of fruit bearing trees such as mango etc will also strengthen your Jupiter and should be taken as a remedy for Jupiter as well. In Cancer specifically around 5 degrees, Jupiter is in maximum exaltation. Between 0 degree to 10 degree in Sagittarius, Jupiter is in Mulutrikon. In Pisces, Jupiter is in Onarashi. Apart from that, in the incarnations of Lord Vishnu, Jupiter indicates Sri Vaman. Now Lord Vaman is not worshipped at home as such. Right, So this you should not do. Right. But Jupiter indicates Lord Vaman and Lord Vaman was a Brahmin. So donations to Brahmins and donation to temple is the best remedy that one can do for Jupiter. Right. So these were all the things related to Jupiter, all the significations related to Jupiter, which can be used in different, different ways, as I have explained to you in the video. But my prime target is that I will give you the information and will tell you a few uses of it. And my target will be that you will make more uses of it and will do an extensive uses, right? So with this intention that you will take note from this video and do more extensive uses of these significations with the hints that I have given you in this video regarding how to use the significations and you will make a better astrological practice. With this particular intention, my thanks, thanks to you for watching the video.